Well, good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. The national conflagration over sexual misconduct has burned another career up in smoke. Charlie Rose, been around for years on television, hosts shows on PBS and the morning show on CBS, has been suspended by both broadcasters tonight after eight women have accused him of groping, lewd phone calls, and other forms of harassment. Meanwhile, Senator Al Franken is facing additional accusations tonight. A woman called Lindsay Menz claims Franken groped her while taking a photograph at a state fair. Menz recently tweeted this, quote, In August 2010, Al Franken grabbed me while taking a picture together at the Minnesota State Fair. I felt violated and embarrassed. But Franken and Rose are not alone. More and more liberal women are sticking knives into the Clintons. Even MSNBC morning host Mika Brzezinski recently attacked Hillary Clinton while California Congresswoman Jackie Speer took a shot at her husband, Bill. Watch. Hillary Clinton needs to stop. She needs to stop talking about this topic unless Bill Clinton wants to come forward and apologize for being a sexual harasser, for settling with women. Some Democrats and liberals have argued that a reevaluation of Bill Clinton's presidency is required. Uh, what do you think about that? I think that the victims who came forward uh, were not treated as they should have been. They should have been believed because, as I pointed out, most people who come forward are telling the truth. Democrats notably more eager to attack a former president than a sitting U.S. senator whose vote they need. But still, an amazing development. Tammy Bruce is a radio show host. She joins us tonight, as she often does, to sort it out. Tammy, what do you make of all this? Well, they're a little late, aren't they? You know, talking yeah. about the Clintons at this point is like bringing out last year's turkey on Thursday. People are going to look at you and say, what? Are you, what? It's old. It's, right. it's bad. So this is what, look, it's, it's absurd. I'm waiting for, for Congress to set up a committee to investigate Ted Kennedy and whether or not it's okay to leave a woman to drown in the bottom of a lake, because boy, that's really bad too. All of these people, here's what they realize, and this is what makes it so dangerous. They know that saying nothing before was wrong. They know that the women before, originally when this happened, that they were right. And now they understandably, I mean, they've enjoyed have, being the, our moral superiors, and now they can't do it. And it is a bizarre, desperate effort to really rewrite history. It's like, well, you know, boy, that sure was awful. Most of us at the time knew it was awful. They're the only ones who are saying it wasn't or defending him. Everybody else in the country knew it, and somehow they didn't. So it's insulting, but it's also dangerous, because by doing this, Tucker, they're admitting that they knew it was wrong at the time, and they chose to do the wrong thing, and they don't care, and now they just simply want to redo it so that they can continue to attack Republicans, frankly. That's right. NBC News refused to air allegations of rape against Bill Clinton, because I guess we didn't know it was wrong then. I guess what's exactly. striking, though, you hear people say, well, both sides do it. And, and I think to some extent that's true. H human sin is a human problem. But it does seem disproportionately clustered on the side that claim to be allies of women. I mean, there is a kind of weird hypocrisy here where some of the people who tell you the most loudly about their feminism are the ones doing these things. Have you noticed that? Right. It's not really about hypocrisy. Look, this is clearly a problem of power. It's not a problem of sex or attraction right. or desire, right? But interestingly, the people that have been crowing about, I'm your champion, I'm going to be defending you, I am the person you can rely on, almost as though it's, it's, it's a method in which to get closer to victims. It's that we would joke at now, with the men that would show up at some of our rallies, we would say, well, maybe they're just there because they maybe know it'll be easier to get a date. Or the men who are supportive and very aggressively supportive about abortion that it's a nature of who it is you're going to be associating with and the presumption that if you're if you're saying you're a champion for women the doors will be unlocked faster women will not be necessarily concerned or afraid of you and it gives you an open door this is what i think makes it dangerously different when it comes to liberal men well like glenn thrush and others who have been these male feminists suddenly we find they're the victimizers they're the the attackers if you will and you have to wonder, is it because they felt that they, could, they would be around a group of women who would effectively be too ashamed, too frightened, uh, too scared, especially scared to say something because it was their own group and it was men that were told like Harvey Weinstein or, or a, a, a Charlie Rose or anyone else that, well, we need them. Uh, I was told when I was in now on the issue of Ted Kennedy and Bill Clinton, yes, they're pigs, but there are pigs, Tammy. 
I, that was not good enough for me. No, uh, it shouldn't and, be. And the women complaining right now about uh, uh, and going after Clinton, whether it, Feinstein or, or Barbara Boxer or others who were, uh, you know, in the beginning of the, from the year of the woman, 1992, when they all got swept into the Senate, one of the first things they did was defend Ted Kennedy when he was under fire uh, in, I believe it was 93. So from the beginning, it's been a fraud, Tucker. It's been a fraud for the women who've enabled it and a fraud for the men who've used it to gain access to women. Well, you've seen it from the inside, so you can speak to that with great authority. I remember getting into a yelling match over Ted Kennedy when he died. He's a complicated guy with some good qualities. He liked dogs, for example, but he did kill a woman. And that you're not allowed to point that out. I remember that very well. So where does this quickly, where does this leave us when the smoke clears and the last harasser has been forced out of his job? Does it change the way the left approaches feminism? Well, remember, we're also talking not just about someone who says something that's rude or compliments a woman as she walks down the hallway. We are now talking about assault. And this is very different, but we tend to be now conflating a little bit the difference between a, a man who is complimenting a woman uh, versus a man who is physically assaulting women. Right. We're going to have to sort those things out. And at this point, it really, uh, really, Tucker, it's just common sense. And, and, and what the, these uh, liberal men are doing is clearly an affront to what all of us already knew was wrong in the first place. Right. No, I think that's, that's right. A lot of it is common sense. Yeah. Exactly. And we sort of knew it all along. Tammy, right. thank you very much, as Thanks, always. Thanks, Tucker.